Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to bring you this video. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now. We have obviously a lot of packages and inside of these packages are all Montessori inspired toys. So today I'm going to be doing a very large Montessori unboxing haul. As I'm going through all of these different toys, I do want you to keep in mind that one, we are doing a Montessori at home program with our children and I do plan on homeschooling them if I'm able to. Um, I also have three children, they are all girls, two and a half, 18 months and a newborn and so our variety and range of toys are all slightly different because they all are sharing the same playroom. It's not like when you go to a Montessori school where it is divided into a toddler program and an elementary program and everything like that. They are all sharing the same area and the same toys. So there are a slightly, it's a slightly broad range of toys that we use in our house right now, but at the same time, I love it. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up to show some support. This is one of the many videos in my Montessori series, so I would love to share more videos with you, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along. Oh my gosh, so where do I start with this? I know what this one is. This, I've been contemplating getting this for the longest time. A lot of people don't understand it or think it's kind of stupid, but uh -uh. if you're a Montessori parent, this is probably on your list of things that you absolutely want or you've done something and you've made it yourself in some way shape or form let's go ahead. maybe i could do some sort of like a montessori unboxing asmr does anybody like the sound of tape being ripped off of packages oh it's so exciting oh, i've had my eye on this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever before I have kids. This is the Melissa and Doug cleaning set. A lot of people who don't do Montessori think that this is absolutely ridiculous, but if you are a Montessori parent, then you know that it is essential that your child has the tools to clean up their own messes and that it is available to them at any point in the day and easily accessible. So in this set, it has a broom, mop, duster, brush, dustpan, and storage stand. I really wanted it because of the storage stand. It was easier for me to put out for my children and it'll be in an area that they know where it is located at. Right now, the cleaning stuff is kind of in a cabinet and they don't really always know that they need to go to the cabinet to get out the cleaning supplies. So this will allow me to have it on display. And since it is technically a toy, it will look okay to other people in my playroom. And it just looks nice in general. So I am super excited about this. By the way, if you do want any of these toys or any of these tools that I am unboxing, I got all of them off of Amazon, so I will leave the links in the description box down below. Let's get this guy out of the way. So this is numero uno. Super excited about this. I can't wait to get this set up. All right, next. box I actually have a new Montessori rug. This is I don't know, whatever this company is called E-O-F-E-E-L. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, looks like this. And this is a new Montessori rug. Um, my dogs kind of destroyed our other ones so I decided to order another because we currently don't have one and it's kind of essential. All right. So it looks like this. Um, if you're not very familiar with how Montessori works, basically this could be rolled up or folded up in a corner somewhere where the child can get to it and they are able to get the play rug out, unroll it themselves, and they can select a toy and play with their toy or play with their educational tool or resource while sitting on the rug. And then when they're done, they will put their toy away, roll the rug back up, put their rug away, and be done. And so we've been lacking on the educational rug department. We really haven't had one since Kaylee has been able to 
participate in a lot of the activities. And so now we have this, I wanted to just order one. It's not that they're super expensive, but a lot of the reviews online for Montessori style rugs were not very great. So I only ordered one for now because I don't want to have to send it back. So I'm giving this one a shot. And if I like it, I will order a second one for our second kid. Next is one of these lacing activities. I think these are really cool and I've actually, I bought two of them. Um, this one we've actually taken out of the box already because the kids really wanted to play with it. They are by the same company. One's a watermelon and one is a pineapple. And essentially what your child does, this is really good for like Kaylee's age. She's 18 months old. She's been really liking these. Basically how it works is they'll just take this little worm and they can put it through the holes and lace it around or, you know, they, they experiment with it like so. And then they can also try to get them back out. Some of these toys are double or very similar to other toys that I already have. Like I said, I already have the watermelon one and that's because both of our kids really do like to play with them and well, they're little so sometimes they will fight over them. So this is one of the toys that I have double of right now. These also aren't super expensive. So if you're looking to get some starter toys, if you're just kind of putting your toes into Montessori or you're just looking for some Montessori style toys to implement into your house. I definitely recommend these. These are a lot of fun and they look really nice when they're sitting on your cabinets as well. The colors are really pretty and they, they're just interesting. This one must have a lot in it because this is a huge box. Honestly, I don't even know if I remember half of the stuff that I purchased. Oh, I'm so excited that this one came. This is another one that I've had my eye on since I think like before my kids were even born. This is the Melissa and Doug music set. Oh, I'm so excited. My kids have been taking a Montessori style music class with our local um, school of music here where we live. And unfortunately, because I just had a baby, we didn't sign them up for their summer classes because it was $130 per kid. And they were only going to make 50% of the classes due to me being in the hospital and having a baby and all of that nonsense. And um, it's actually up like three or four flights of stairs with no elevator and things were just hectic. So we didn't sign up for the summer. And I'm also student teaching in the fall. So we're not signing them up for their music class in the fall. So I really, really wanted to make sure that I had musical objects for them to play with. I also have their sets from their music class available to them. So they have um, like rhythm sticks and scarves and shakers, egg shakers, all kinds of different musical toys. But I did want to get some of these because they don't have a um, triangle. They didn't really have a drum. Um, they do have maracas, but not like the style of maracas. They're more like egg shaker maracas. And um, the um, symbols, we didn't have the symbols or the, the slapper or clapper or whatever you want to call it. So I am super excited about this. I can't wait to get it out of the box. And one of the really good things about um, these Melissa and Doug toys, if you do get these, um, a lot of like their fruits and foods and everything, they actually come with a display basket already. So if you're implementing a Montessori style education into your home and you do want baskets for your children to put their toys in on the shelves, these do come with the baskets, which is awesome because every time I go out to the store to buy these, they're like seven to 12 ish dollars. And I really don't like buying a bunch of them. So get the Melissa and Doug sets. They come with the little wooden baskets. This next one I got for Kaylee because she's really into object permanence boxes right now. And I saw this online and I thought this was adorable. This is so, so cute. I actually have a video coming out soon about how to make your own objects permanence box out of things that you can find around your house, like really, really super easy. Um, and she does like that, but I saw this and I thought it was so cute. So I had to have it. It has four color balls and the little hammer and they will hit the ball down into the roof of the house and it will roll out onto the little tray. This is an object permanence box. It is a pretty important piece or aspect of Montessori education. So I would definitely recommend getting yourself an object permanence box or making one. Like I said, you can check out my video that will be coming up soon or even just look for other videos on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of them out there. They're not very difficult to make, but if you do want a really super cute one, this is adorable. I'm super excited about this too. Actually, I'm just excited about all of them. This is one of the little rainbows that you can get. And it really is good for a lot of just types of imaginative play. 
Um, especially like if you're doing the imaginative, imaginative play or pretend play, they can use these as ramps. You can like build things. My oldest daughter really likes to pretend that she's making houses and towns and that these go over top of rivers. Um, we lost a couple pieces to ours just because we've got a lot of people in and out of our house and we do have a typical playroom as well that does have like plastic objects that the kids play in every once in a while. And um, so pieces have just gone all over the place and we haven't seen it in forever. So we've got a new one. Very excited, although I can see that it actually came damaged. I'm not sure if you guys can see right here. Um, so I'll probably have to return it, but that stinks. So, but super excited to have it nonetheless. The next thing I got is a similar thing. It's rainbow, but it's a little puzzle. So this looks like a flower. And I thought I had gotten two of these. Maybe not. I thought I got two. I thought I got a flower and something else. Oh, there's two in there. That's why. All right, I'll take them out. <laughs> I feel like these are not necessarily as sturdy as I, oh, I guess they're not that bad. All right, so this is the flower and it's just rainbow pieces that they can pick in and out. They can use these to build different things with, imaginative play again, um, or they can just use them as puzzles. These are also really super fantastic and the colors, since they're super like bright and vibrant, are really good for my kids at least, but we've got a star and we've got flowers. Quality Montessori. Oh, these are for my oldest daughter. She's starting to tap into the reading and um, phonics and letters a little bit. And so even though these aren't really quite for her just yet, I thought they were really super cute and I wanted to get them. These are little phonics cubes. And so it comes with three cubes and you can rotate the cubes around so you can make different phonics and different um, sounds. So like, let's see. So you can do this, you can say ut, and then you can, you know, rut, hut, tut, like so. You can move them around. So we've got rug, hug, tug, bug. And this came with one, two, three, four, and five of these. So these are perfect to just fit in one of your little Montessori baskets and place on your shelf for display. Super cute. I'm really happy with the way that these are and the sizes of them. I wasn't sure if they'd be super small or like really, really big, but this is actually really, really good for my two-year-old. Next is a clock. So this is a rainbow clock. It shows all of the analog parts of the clock. It also has um, the little um, minute. So 5, 10, 15, 20 as it goes around and they can really kind of mess around with the hands and um, adjust the clock and experiment with it. And this is really good for telling time. I know that like analog clocks aren't really that big of a thing anymore, but I still would like my daughter to learn how to read an analog clock because they still do exist. And believe it or not, I actually know several people who cannot read analog clocks. That has already started. Yes, I know that is absolutely crazy. Um, but I do want her to be able to read an analog clock and this is the perfect tool to allow me to do that. So this will definitely be going on display in our Montessori room shortly. And the last thing is, it's very fun for my girls. They don't really think they're learning a whole lot as they're doing it, but I decided to get this for them. It is a little like wooden ramp set, so the cars will go down, 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 down. They're really, really into cars right now and balls and like anything that they can put down here. So if they can put marbles down there or any of their balls down there or even um, like dolls, like if there's like little um, like little people dolls or anything like that, they'll love to put them down there. It can be a slide, it can be a ramp, it can be whatever, but it'll let them experiment with that type of motion. And so I saw it online and I knew it wasn't necessarily like the perfect Montessori toy, but it is actually very, very good for my girls. They will absolutely love playing with this. The only other thing that I have to share with you that I am not unboxing here because it is very, very big and my studio is in the basement and everything else is upstairs, is that we bought a new Montessori desk for them and it is a table that has two chairs and I saw it online and I fell in love with it. It was so cute. It has a little drawer underneath of it that I was going to put all of their art supplies in so that we have all of their art supplies there as well. And it was too heavy to get down here for one, but it came heavily, heavily damaged. 
And not only was it damaged, but it was missing pieces. And so I decided that I'm just going to probably return it. I actually contacted Amazon. They've given me a refund for it. Um, so I don't even know if they want it back at this point. I have to figure that out. But right now, I, it is built. It is upstairs. It looks super cute, but it is very, very scratched. It's very dented. It's missing pieces. It didn't go together right. And so I will put those pictures in here, but I actually don't recommend this product. So um, I'm not even going to worry about linking it in the description box. I just totally wouldn't recommend it at all. It just, there were too many issues with it for me anyways. Um, and at the price that I was paying for it, it should really come much better than it did. So guys, I think that was it for my Montessori unboxing. This was a super fun video to do. I hope that you like some of these toys that I've gotten. Let me know if you have any of these or if you plan on getting any of those and what you think of them. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Again, please give this video a big thumbs up to support your fellow Montessori hardworking mom because we are all busy moms out there, I know, and it is hard to stay on task with Montessori. So give this video a big thumbs up to show your support and hit the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss out on any more awesome Montessori videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.